Hello friends, in this video we'll be discussing introduction to calculus of variation. Welcome back friends, we are starting with the new chapter calculus of variation. First of all, let us see what we are going to do in this particular chapter. Your problem will be in this particular format, we need to evaluate this kind of integration and it is definite integration. Definite integration means limits has, integration has some limits. And inside we'll have F that is capital F and that is functional. And that functional is X, Y or dy by dx into dx. Basically my aim is to evaluate this type of integration. This dy by dx, you can simply write it down as y dash. Friends, in this chapter, in calculus of variation, we are going to find it out the extremal points. That is also called stationary points or in local language, it is called maxima or minima. For finding that, we do have Euler's equation. So let me write it down the Euler equation and my aim is to get the value of y. This is my aim. This is the solution y is equal to f of x. Problem is this and solution is this. Let me write it on the Euler's equation that is Euler's equation. First is dou f upon dou y minus d by dx of dou f upon dou y dash equal to 0. This is equation number 1. We do have one more equation. This is the solution of the given integration. And that is number two is dou f upon dou x minus d by dx of f minus y dash dou f upon dou y dash equal to zero. This is equation number two. Friends, these are the two solutions of this particular integration which is asked in the problem. Now there are few special cases that you need to consider. There are three special cases. First is functional. F is called functional. It is not function. It is actually functional. Is independent of y. If functional is independent of y, what does this mean? If you differentiate that functional with respect to y, the answer is 0. This is for sure because functional does not contain y. When you differentiate with respect to y, answer should be 0. Now friends, we have two options. Either you can choose equation number 1 or equation number 2. Here we got dou f upon dou y equal to 0. Let me check where exactly this term. See here. Dou f upon dou y is in equation number 1. Let's substitute. If I will substitute dou f upon dou y equal to 0 in equation number 1, I will be left with the first term dou f upon dou, f, dou y will become 0. I will be left with minus d by dx of dou f upon dou y dash which is equal to 0. Therefore, dou f upon dou y dash, if this minus d by dx will go that side, that will become integration and integration of 0 is 0 plus some constant which is equal to c. You need to remember this. Minus d by dx will go that side and will become constant of integration c. This is my equation number 3. Now I got three equation first, second and third. Let's move on. Now I'm going to consider the next case. Functional is independent of x. Friends, actually your original functional is in terms of x, y and y dash. We are going to consider three cases. First it is independent of y, then it is independent of x and finally it, in, it is independent of y dash. Here it is independent of x, therefore dou f upon dou x equal to 0. Let me check in which equation I am getting dou f upon dou x. Check here friends, equation number 1 and 2. In equation number 2, I am getting this. Dou f upon dou x equal to 0. Therefore, I am going to put in equation number 2. This term will be 0 and I will be left with this particular thing. That is minus d by dx f minus y dash dou f upon dou y dash equal to 0. 
माइनस डी बाई डी एक्स एफ माइनस वाई डैश डो एफ अपॉन डो वाई डैश इक्वल टू जीरो अगेन द सेम रिपीटेड स्टोरी माइनस डी बाई डी एक्स विल गो दैट साइड एंड विल बिकम सी देर फोर इट विल बी एफ माइनस वाई डैश डो एफ अपॉन डो वाई डैश इक्वल टू सी दिस इज द नेक्स्ट इक्वेशन दैट इज फोर्थ वन there is one more case left first we consider special case when a functional is independent of y now we took functional is independent of x what is last functional is independent of y dash let's consider that case functional is independent of y dash since it is independent of y dash if you differentiate with respect to y dash the answer is zero let me put this e do f upon do y dash in one of the equation let me check equation number 1 or 2 where exactly i am getting do f upon do y dash now friends check in equation number 1 as well as 2 in both equation we have do f upon do y dash that means i can put in either of the equation which equation you will choose obviously equation number 1 because if you put in equation number 1 i'll get the simple equation therefore i'm going to substitute in equation number 1 this particular term is zero therefore this will be zero and i will be left with do f upon do y equal to zero let's put in equation number 1 put in 1 do f upon do y equal to zero this is my fifth equation friends i got five equations if you remember this five equation the problems you can easily manage all the problems of calculus of variation let's revise quickly we started with what is the aim of calculus of variation we want to evaluate this type of integration or basically i want to find the extremal point or maximal or minimal point or stationary points of this particular integration that means basically my solution that i want is y is equal to f of x here this functional is in terms of x y or y dash you need to remember this to euler's equation depending upon the situation i am going to use equation number 1 or equation number 2 then there will be three special cases once i am going to consider the functional is independent of y therefore do f upon do y equal to 0 and for that purpose i'll be substituting in equation number 1 because do f upon do y is there in equation number 1 and through that i am going to get do f upon do y dash equal to c next special case is functional is independent of x if it is independent of x do f upon do x equal to 0 and you going to get in equation number 2 put in equation number 2 and you will get on this particular equation and finally the functional is independent of y dash that means do f upon do y dash equal to 0 this you can put in equation number 1 or equation number 2 we are choosing equation number 1 because it is simple equation if you put do f upon do y dash in equation number 1 you will get do f upon do y equal to 0 remember this five equations in the next videos we'll discuss how to use it thank you